Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Did you see what I am holding? These are 10 pairs of the zebra finches and they are very cute. And these are all breeders. Actually, I've got 10 males and 10 females and I understand that they have this, uh, you know, leg bands and they have coatings for me to be able to distinguish which pair that we can put in individual cages. But I am thinking about breeding this on a community system, I mean community breeding, wherein they will be placed in a big cage and then they will find their natural partner. And I was also told that this kind of breeding is not also good because we cannot preserve the quality of the birds that we can produce. But I'm really very tempted to put them in a large cage that they're gonna be breeding in colony. Please do make some suggestions. I'm really not aware about the characteristics of these birds since this is my first time to take care of them. And if you have knowledge about this, please educate me as to the diet, as to the vitamins and maybe the nesting materials that we needed in order for us to become also successful in breeding this zebra. I have to make some research because they are already here and I have also to make a further study based on actual experience as we go along with this project. So after the three-day quarantine process, we are now set to put this here inside the cage of our cockatiel. Quarantine process is actually really very important in order to prevent the contamination of new disease or new virus that these birds might be bringing. And I'm quite satisfied with the conditions of this bird. I can sense that they don't have issues about their health. They are so active and as you can see them, they're already eating their food and drinking the water and they're gonna become now the part of the Dexter's World family. This is already a good start because I know that these birds are prolific as well. They're like parakeets and African lovebirds. And just last night I made some research about how to breed this one and I'm really very fascinated about the characteristics and even the behaviors of this birds because they are easily tamed and they have different characteristics with the African lovebirds and even the cockatiels. They are more like the native birds which we call Maya here and they are so lovely because they come in different colors and I hope that in the future we can collect some other varieties of this finch and uh, I know that there are golden finches which have really beautiful colors. And this made me more excited 
to wake up in the morning and feed all the animals that are here in the house. I'm getting in love with these birds because their behaviors, their characteristics are just really amazing. You know, they're loving to each other and they are not fighting, they are not that aggressive and they are not even territorial. So the nature of these birds are really calm and very humble. I can compare them with the doves, they are really humble birds, they are not that aggressive. And this is not the permanent cage of course for these birds because I'm thinking about making a beautiful cage for them which is gonna be also the content of our future videos and I am thinking what method we are going to adopt in our breeding system between the community breeding or the individual breeding or the battery type breeding I don't know you can make some suggestions but I really love community breeding because this is where we can see our birds behave naturally but the downside of this community breeding is we don't have the control of our lines but I have just this uh, feeling that we can do so though it requires a tedious process when they are still very young maybe we can already put leg ban on them and then identify which of these birds are siblings or not in, in such a way that we will prevent inbreeding so I'm so excited about this one all of these birds have leg bands and they are fearfully chosen to become good breeders in the future that's why this is quite expensive and I got this from a legal source of course because here in our country it's not allowed to just you know take care of these pets without the necessary permit from the government and this, they are all equipped with papers and I'm so happy that we were able to get this one and in the future be able also to share our birds to others who are also hobbyists and bird likers and according to my research each of these pairs can produce at least four or five so if we have 10 pairs producing dozens of them in a very short period of time it's really very passable it's highly passable and I'm so excited to start with this farming when we started breeding this cockatiel we only started with few pairs and now we are able to produce double its population and uh, this is done in a short period of time this is just in one year period and I'm so happy about this success and interacting these pets would heal our spirits, especially the birds, because these birds reflect of the humbleness and the virtues of love and care. Because as you can see them, they're caring to each other, they are rearing their chicks so responsibly, just like human beings. And the kind of lesson that I got from caring these pets is the natural thing. The nature really enables these animals to take care for each other, to love each other, and to propagate. And this is a God-given virtue that's also given to mankind. Maybe you will ask, Dexter, what profit would you gain out of this bird farming? I will tell you that even if I will not sell my birds, but the therapy that I can get out of taking care of these birds is already enough. I don't need more money out of them, but just by taking care of them will heal my soul and spirit. So the African lovebirds as well are also thriving. In fact, we have produced new strains, new colors that are really very beautiful. And just this morning, I examined the individual nest boxes of these birds and I saw many eggs and chicks and for this season I am set to harvest at least 18 to 20 new birds inside in the nest boxes and these are the joy and happiness that we can get out of this farming activity and I hope that you can relate with me what I am feeling right now is actually an overwhelming joy deep in my heart
So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. And if is this your first time to stumble upon this channel, I would like to invite you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading informative, educational, and very inspiring videos only here at Dexter's World!